Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be treating the number three practicals, which is electricity. Please stay tuned as we proceed on the practical. If you have not subscribed to my video, click the link in the description. Subscribe to my video, like my page, comment, and also um, share my page. Thank you so much. Um, based on what my exam will provide for the 2021 practicals on electricity, they told us that it's verification of Ohm's law using a meter, cost and time wire of about 100 centimeters, then and the standard resistor of 2 ohms. That's what they say we should provide. Now, the apparatus we need for this, we'll be needing a standard resistor, as I say, 2 ohm resistor, cost and time wire, 100 centimeters, 2 dry cells, which amounts to 3 volts, a meter, key or switch, the meter rule, and crocodile clip, then connecting wires. For based on what they give us to provide, I found out a question which was fitted in YF 2013. So that's what we're going to paint as regards to this practical. It's very, very simple, so don't panic. The electricity practical is one of the easiest in YF. So um, look at this. This is a question. The circuit is connected like this. This is an ammeter in series with the back to the cell. Then the cell is in, is in series with the key or the switch. Then this is connected to the standard resistor 2 ohms. By this is connected from here is connected with a crocodile clip, and here this is the cost and turn wire that we're going to consider. So stay tuned as we proceed. You are provided with a cost and time wire of 2 ohm resistor and accumulator of EMF 3 volts, then a key, a switch, and other accessory apparatus. I'm going to show us this apparatus so that we can see. Here before me is a constant time wire. The thickness varies. So I would advise that you use a thickness that is a little bit thicker. This is less thicker than this. So make sure, and for you not to make mistakes, use a micrometer screw gauge to check the area of the, the constant time wire you are using. Because the, the, cost, the, the thickness depends on the the nature of the, re the resistance will depend upon the thickness of the, the cost of time wire that we are using. So, but for this experiment, we are using this cost of time wire. The length is 100 centimeters. I've already measured it, as we have seen. And this is a battery of 3 volts, 1.5, 1.5, making it 3 volts. Then, this is the key or switch, and this is my crocodile clip. This is my crocodile clip. Look at it. This is my crocodile clip. Okay. Okay. Then this, of course, you know, this is my ammeter. So we are going to proceed. Everything is done. This is the standard resistor of this. So we are going to proceed. Okay. Measure and record the EMF of the accumulator. The EMF of the accumulator should be known since this is 1.5 volt. Therefore, we are having 3 volts as the EMF of the cell. So the EMF of the cell is 3 volts. Connect the circuit as shown in the diagram below. So this above, so this is what we are going to do. The, the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter. So that's what we are going to do right now. Watch here. Okay. This is the positive. There's a connecting wire that I'm using. Then this is the positive terminal of the battery here. It's being connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter here. So the negative terminal is connected to the standard resistor. So look at it here. The negative terminal of the ammeter connected to the standard. Of course, you know the resistor doesn't have a charge. So it's not necessarily to put it any charge, put it anywhere, any side. Okay? So the negative terminal is connected, connected to the Resistor, standard resistor. Then, as shown in this diagram, then watch the this end, the end of the standard resistor. The the constant time wire is attached to it as shown here. So the end of this resistor, you attach a constant time wire to it, like this, is hundred centimeters. Then the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the switch. 
you can see this is the negative terminal of the battery connected to the switch of course you know the switch doesn't have any positive or negative so you can connect it anywhere okay please take note of that then last but not the least you join the crocodile clip from the switch the crocodile clip is attached to the other end of the switch you attach a crocodile clip to that then the other end of the crocodile clip is what you'll be using to test for the various um, lengths of the, the constant time wire. So stay tuned. Let's say we should connect the circuit as shown. We'll finish connecting them. Close the key and record the ammeter I0 when the crocodile clip is not in contact with the constant time wire. So what I said is that we should close the clip, we should close it, and with that, when the when the when the crocodile clip is not attached to the constant time wire, so we'll close it now and record our current I zero. That's why I'm going to look at it. We'll close it. Okay. Okay. So from here, you can see this is graduated between zero. Oh, yes, here is zero, here is one. So each point is point one. So here is zero, here is zero point one, zero point two. We'll have zero. This is zero point one, zero point one, zero point two, zero point two. So we are having we are connected the crocodile clip when it's not connected the cost of that wire. We are having the reading from here to be zero point two. Five. So we are going to record it. Our I zero will be zero point two five amps. So that's that. So we should record the I zero when the crocodile clip is not connected. The other one is open the key with the clip, making a contact with the wire ninety centimeters. So we are going to open the clip. Please make sure that you remove your key or switch after taking reading from the armature to avoid discharge from the battery. So I've removed my key. Then the next thing I will do is the said we should um, open the key with the clip, making a contact with the wire at D equal to 90 centimeters. The, the distance should be at 90 centimeters. So I'm going to use my meter rule to measure the distance of 90 centimeters. So that's what I'll do right away. Okay. So this is my constant time wire. I'm going to measure 90. So watch from here to here. Okay, this is at point 90. Okay, so you mark that point, point 90. You mark the point 90. This is it. Then what you are going to do is you attach your crocodile clip. You attach your crocodile clip. What's with it? The length of the wire from here to here is 90 centimeter. So I'm going to attach my crocodile clip and note the reading on the ammeter, the reading of the current of the ammeter. Okay. So this is at exactly 90. Okay. I've not attached my switch. So I'm going to attach the switch. Okay, you've noticed that there is a deflection that is shown on the meter or the ammeter. So I'm going to take the reading here. What we are having here is 0 0.1, 0 0.19, 0 0.19. So I remove my key. Remove my key. Make sure you remove your key after taking reading. So I'm going to record at this point 0 0.19 amp. Okay. Then here they say we should take the inverse of D. So we are taking 1 over 90. So it's just 1 divided by 90. We are having 0 0.011. 0 0.011. Okay, so that is that for that. Then they now say repeat the procedure for the for four other values of D 
equal to 80 cm, 70 cm, 60 and 50. So what you are going to do is you would take the measurements. The first one that we did was 90. So the, the next one that we will do will be 80 centimeters. So you use your meter rule to measure 80 centimeters. 80 centimeters will be somewhere here. Okay. So after measuring your 80 centimeters, what you do is you attach your clip, probably right clip on it, and measure your and close your key. Measure the deflection on the, the ammeter. So what we are going to get is zero point here is zero point two one. So we have zero point two one. Okay. All right. So for all other values of so we have recommended that uh, 0.21, referring to the reading when the, the distance is 80, that is when the, uh, the length of the clip, the length of the constant time wire is 80 centimeters. So we take note of that and we're taking the inverse. So what you also need to do is for um, 70, you use your ruler, measure 70 centimeters. Yes, then I can show a clip on it and measure the reading. Please and please make sure that you you remove the key from the switch after taking reading from the ammeter. You realize that resistor, the resistance is directly proportional to the length of the wire. So as the length of the wire is increasing, the resistance of the wire is also increasing because it's directly proportional. So this is just for us to verify OC which says that V is equal to I I. Of course you know that I is equal to V over I. So as the current is increasing the resistance is reducing. Of course we can see that as the okay or we can see that R Okay, R is equal to V over R. As the resistance is increasing, the current is reducing. We're getting it. So, and vice versa. So you see that if the current, as the distance is reducing, the current is increasing. So invariably, we can have another values of this to be 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25. As the, the distance, the length is reducing, the current is increasing. So we are going to take the inverse of 1 over 70, 1 over 70, 1 divided by 70, we have 0 0.014, and 1 divided by 60, we have 0 0.016, 1 divided by 50, we have 0 0.02. So that has done about that. They say, okay, in this case, when we are record the ammeter reading and evaluate the inverse, we've done that, tablet your readings, we've done that, plot a graph with, with I on the vertical axis and the inverse on the horizontal axis. So we've got a graph of I against the inverse. They say we should determine the slope. Of course, slope is change in I over change in the inverse. They say we should evaluate K equal to C over S. Using your graph, determine the current I when D is 55 cm. So from your graph, when D is 55 cm from your graph, you trace the value of the current there in your graph. Of course, you know that slope is equal to change in uh, I over change in the inverse. Are we clear? So and this is I over I times D over 1, which is equal to I times D. So the slope is current times D. Are we clear? So at this point, at D equal to 55 cm, you measure your current. You check your current from your graph. 
then you get that. Then I'm saying you should explain, still two precautions taken. Of course, you know that all other questions are definitely easy as they can answer. So we'll come to the close of this um, experiment. Please and please make sure that you state the precautions. Because the precautions here, one of the precautions here is that make sure that when taking reading from the amateur, you avoid parallel error due to reading, taking reading with the amateur. And also make sure that you remove your key when reading is not being taken from the amateur. So we've come to the conclusion of this. Thank you for listening. And make sure you subscribe to my video for more subsequent videos that is coming up for our 2021 exams. Thanks and remain blessed.